I've said it before. There is uh, this weird thing with Twitter. A lot of people on Twitter really hate anime. They hate otakus. They hate weebs. They hate all of it. They probably also hate Japan in general because they don't want to conform to what they want Japan to conform to. They're twisted Western ideals. We have a tweet. It reads, and by the way, before we read it, take a look at the likes. 41,000 likes, 14,000 retweets. Remember the tweet I showed you guys like a week ago? The one that was hating on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? That one also had, what was it, like 100,000 likes? Then we had a tweet the other day, the TikTok thing that had like 200,000 likes uh, mocking anime because of fan service, basically. I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff, man. Here's this take. It says, weebs are so disconnected from reality. They like to pretend Japan is some apolitical wonderland where marginalized people don't fight for better rights or where everyone pretends injustice isn't real. This is absolutely not true. This is a complete straw man argument. And then they include pictures of the real world event that's going on right now, the protests and all that, you know, terrible situation going on. Uh, just unfortunate stuff. People are, are, are suffering. That's what I mean. I don't want to get into the details of that. The fact is people are suffering and it's sad. And this person is using that to try to make some hot take about Japan. Says the 500 NSFW artists and VTubers you follow do not represent Japan as a whole. And he links these pictures. So here's the meme. It says, my current Twitter experience, JP Twitter looking over at Western Twitter, wondering what the heck is going on there. And at the bottom of the meme are some pictures I can't show because the artwork is a little revealing. You have some uh, anime artwork and you have some pictures of VTubers. Like you have that one meme of Miko Sakura with the arc boat and that song, you know, that one. So th there's the meme. And then they also include this picture, it says Tokyo protest police violence against non-Japanese. And they show a little line little line of people protesting apparently but again this is the context that they're providing unless you actually know you know factually what these people are standing there for hypothetically this could be an old picture too just saying i am always skeptical of things i read online but let's go with it let's say that these people are indeed protesting uh whatever they're saying they're protesting fact is that doesn't make the majority they're trying to say that what you see on twitter doesn't represent the majority of japan and then they're trying to hypocritically show you a little picture and saying that that represents Japan. It's such a dumb argument. You can't discredit someone and then try to use the same reason you discredit them as your merit. What's wrong with you? But seriously, there is a couple snug premises in this tweet going back to the tweet itself that are absolutely disgusting. It says Japan is some apolitical wonderland where marginalized people don't fight for better rights. Who the heck is saying that? You're making it sound like weebs don't want equality for people, which is absolutely not the case. We just simply don't want your BS Western politics being shoved onto another country's culture because that is a bigoted thing to do. That's very, it's a very simple concept. It's not complicated. But people like this guy like to run with mistruths to try to bolster their point because they don't have real merit, as we've seen. They have to resort to lying and skewing context and things like that. And then making it worse, even, is how they say the 500 NSFW artists and VTubers follow don't represent Japan as a whole. Implying to me, implying that these alleged unnamed artists and VTubers don't care about marginalized people's rights or injustices, the implication there, you have to be a really gross person to make a tweet like this, in my opinion. I'm not the only person reasonably criticizing this tweet. I mean, we have other people here. Here's a, another one. It says, 200 people protesting in a city of 40 million and not even trending on Twitter. That doesn't represent Japan as a whole either. So now right away, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, uh, this person's on our side, but I'm going to laugh at their argument because not even trending on Twitter. Is that really, uh, is that really a great point? That's not a great point. You know, I can, I can not agree fully with people that I agree with on some level. You know, and that I'll point out right away because that's 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 so silly to me. But no, it's a good point. The, the, this, this is a good point, though. 200 people protesting in a city of 40 million. I mean, yeah, that's a that's a very small sample size. That's a good point. That one's a good point. Um, and again, that's assuming that the picture is actually authentic and it's not something old that they're posting now because we see fake news like that on Twitter all day every day that's the whole game of twitter that's why i say twitter is land of the phonies we also have sir bad opinions over here chiming in let's see what he says asians know when to engage in politics and when not to because the previous generation's political ambitions brought bloody ruin and untold destruction on our culture and society the after effects of which are still felt today something internet activists will never understand now you know it sounds like this person has some personal experience with that side of things so i'm not going to add anything uh, on that level I, you know i don't have anything to add to their take they've personally experienced things like that according to them here i'm going to go with it i will absolutely uh 
stand with them though and i'll absolutely agree at this point something internet activists will never understand and that's something i've been saying a lot recently as well it's cool to see that that term there uh, internet activists or I, I think i've also been saying like social media activists recently i mean it's true man these people talk a big game on the internet and then they go offline and don't you know they forget about everything that they were crying about or they don't do anything to actually change or benefit the world you know they talk a big game online to get there like you know we've talked about this before let's just move on i suppose good take though good uh good tweet from bad opinions in my opinion actually i do want to laugh at one more thing there are people on twitter who literally they spend all day on twitter basically pre-typing out a comment and looking for certain people on the political side of things you know i'm, I'm trying to be as vague as possible but it's hilarious to me. You have people that wait for these certain politicians to make a tweet and then they instantly respond with something like condemning it that you could tell was just pre-created. They're just waiting at the opportunity to create that. And then afterwards they do another tweet and they plug their like uh, coffee link or whatever. They want people to send them money or something. Like, if you like what I'm doing here, please support me. What are you doing here? I, I go and take a look at their Twitter to see if they're doing any sort of other work as well. You know, if they're using Twitter to market and they have a website where they have a podcaster or some sort of product they're selling or, or, or whatever. And I'm not saying I would endorse that product because I don't know what it is. It's a hypothetical, hypothetical situation here. But the point is these people aren't even doing that. They're literally asking people to send them money because they're tweeting. They want to be paid for tweeting. All that takes me back to Oliver Gia, and hopefully I pronounced his name right. If you are on Twitter, first of all, you have my condolences. Second of all, consider following Oliver. He posts some pretty thought-provoking stuff, and we actually covered a topic about a month ago. It was the one where we had this uh, Western voice actor, kind of a new VA, building up his record or whatever, and he makes this hot take uh, just saying, I forget what it was. It was like representation in anime or anime needs more representation or something like that completely making himself sound clueless because as we discussed in that video i mean anime tends to have better representation than than most other entertainment products coming out of other countries so it seemed completely tone deaf for this person to do that on top of the the, the lazy factor the lazy factor these people on twitter they think spamming the same take like 10 times in a row or 20 times in a row in the same tweet is going to do anything like spamming that you want that in anime is going to change the world absolutely pathetic so i thought that was a joke of a tweet a joke as in pathetic apparently oliver did too i don't want to put words in the guy's mouth he pretty much tore that tweet apart though he did it in a very mathematical calculated uh way and he was pretty respectful about it all too anyways the point is he's commenting on this issue too let's see what he says about this twitter is very u.s centric americans only look at things through a narrow-minded lens and automatically assume that the rest of the world operates the same as they do already i mean that sentence alone just wrecks just wrecks the tweet we are looking at oh my gosh this is going to be good people have legitimately gotten angry at me when i say that japanese generally aren't political imagine getting angry at that instead of what would a reasonable person do in my opinion i think a reasonable person would be like oh that's interesting tell me tell me more about uh japan and you know what, what's going on there why are they like that not that they we want to change their views but you simply want to understand understand it more you respect their, you know, how they operate over there. And you might want to inform yourself about how they operate over there. But no, uh, these people, they just get mad at that. <laughs> they just get mad. Oh, geez. Oh, my gosh. He says, people who don't live here or speak the language will highlight a couple of Japanese activists or protest movements and automatically assume that's how the rest of Japan is. You can find a lot of things in any big city if you search. That doesn't mean it's a nor normal trend. As you can see, this guy is very calculated in the way he's, he speaks. And I just mean like, he, he forms a sentence as well, and he's educated with this stuff. I mean, he's literally a researcher, so it makes sense. It says, there are additionally enough big accounts here run by left-wing American expats who try to push a certain political narrative about Japan. I can assure you that their views are in the minority, and they mostly just surround themselves with people who share the same worldview. When I, I mean, if I comment on everything here, this is going to take forever. Let's just read. When I say Japanese people generally aren't political, that's not saying no one in Japan is political. The f okay, I'm going to comment on that too, because the fact he even needs to elaborate on that is so pathetic. How embarrassing is that? I mean, the sentence is, is self-explanatory. Japanese people generally aren't political. Keyword, generally. But he still has to elaborate on that and say, I'm not saying no one in Japan is political. Oh my gosh, Twitter is so weird. You simply, he says, you simply don't see the same amount of political activism or heated discussions as in America overall. You will rarely lose friends or stop talking to family over politics. Oh my gosh. You know, I have a, another anecdotal story for you guys here. I'll try to make this one quick. Um, the gym I was most recently training at, I had a few different trainers. 
I had one for Muay Thai, one for boxing, or uh, one, two for Muay Thai, one for boxing. And the boxing trainer, she was really cool. Trained with her quite a bit for a few months, pretty often. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, she starts complaining about the president and asking me what I think about the president. Dude, I'm here to train boxing. I'm not here to talk about politics. And she didn't even really want my honest opinion because she was predetermined in how she thought I should uh, I should respond. I'm not going to tell you how I, how I responded, but it was just, uh, in my opinion, highly inappropriate. I mean, I'm there, to, I'm there to learn how to box. I'm not there to suddenly talk about politics randomly, especially when you don't genuinely want to know my opinion. You just want to hear something that you want to have uh, someone agreeing with you with. I mean, you know, I don't want to stay on this topic long. Let's continue. That's just one example. But man, this is uh, there's a lot of truth in what Oliver Stain, in my opinion. Uh, continuing off, he says, you will rarely lose friends or stop talking to family over politics. And for the record, let me just uh, clarify this. The trainer and I, we did end on a fine note. I didn't see her again, not because of that, because we had a change in the their schedules and all that. But uh, I'll at least say that it didn't end. Uh, it ended kind of in an uncomfortable manner, but it's not like we that's not like she was like, I'll never train you again or anything like that. Continuing, the only times I've really had uh, political arguments in Japan are with other Americans or foreigners. In America, saying you like Trump will polarize most people. In Japan, hardly anyone cares if you like Abe or vote for the LDP. That uh, That's a difference which is hard to ignore. Well said. I mean, it's a polarizing difference. It, 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 it's, a, it's a startling difference as well. I mean, the level of vitriol some people have simply because of that stuff is, is quite unhealthy. I mean, that's just the, way for, the best way for me to put it. It's unhealthy. These people are not living a healthy life. They are in a terrible mindset, and that affects them physically too. And that's that. Well, thank you all for tuning in. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. That helps the channel out tremendously. It truly does, as does leaving a comment. If you would like to leave a comment, that'd be much appreciated. Consider doing that too, and maybe sharing the video. For yesterday's joke video, a uh, little filler segment. We got shouts out to Deshaun M, DXDKJ, Phantom R, Intimidator0108, The Dinosaur King, Merci Beku, Merci, ooh, mer <laughs> wait a second, <laughs> Merci Boku. Oh, that's like, uh, that's French. L look at that. I know, I know my French very well, as you can see. Clearly an expert. Uh, shout out to Amethyst, and we all live in the Matrix. Thank you all, though, everyone who tuned in. I appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.